Ladies and gentlemen, we need to talk. We need to talk about, well, flying animals. So you've seen potentially in the last couple of days, there has been something released on the Jurassic World Evolution 2 channel here on YouTube. And that is a species field guide of the Pteranodon. A couple of days earlier, we had another one from the Dimorphodon. And um, I waited to see another one before I, you know, jumped in making that video. Today I'm not going to talk about so much Jurassic World Evolution 2, I'm more likely going to talk about what that means for our wonderful game Planet Zoo and the future of this game. So why am I picking this is pretty obvious. Um, the only species, so to say, missing in Planet Zoo is obviously birds or at least just all kind of flying animals. We do have flamingos, we do have ostriches and stuff, but these birds are like most likely non-flying animals. And as we already had, you know, Pteranodon, for example, in Jurassic World Evolution with the um, Jurassic Park, or Jurassic Park update um, and the aviary, this is a completely different story. And I'm, I'm just gonna first of all brief you guys in for those of you who haven't followed the news on Jurassic World Evolution 2 so that you're just up to date. So yes, it is confirmed that these animals are not in a looped animation. They are basically flying free in this aviary over here. And also, um, it is confirmed that this aviary is not a, like, well, it is kind of prefixed, but it is a expandable building that you can actually um, stylize and design inside of it yourself. So what you can see in this picture over here, um, all the trees and foliage and um, the pond and stuff is all made by a player. Um, it's all made by hand. It's not prefab. So you can put these things down wherever you want. This is a classic fish feeder, as you can see over here. So you can put it wherever you want. And um, actually what this aviary is around is is nothing else than a different type of fence if you want. So it, this can also give us a little bit of a hint what Frontier did over here. Imagine this aviary is a basically turned around tank if you want from the aquatic pack update. So imagine you have a tank in which the animals do deep dive, for example the seals or the penguins. Um, they have a water volume to basically swim in to dive in and i think what they did in here is basically take the same system and just completely turn that around uh, into the air so you basically have an air volume if you want and in order to have like you know barriers that kind of go in line with this, this idea with this philosophy they created the air av aviaries as they stand over here so you can see in this video so i'm going to just leave this loping in the background before we actually look a bit more into these animals um you can see this is also potential breakouts are uh, happening and if we just go a little bit back here i just want to show you one frame so you can see pretty nicely in this frame over here how big this aviary is and you can see that you know we have seen different screenshots where they have been smaller, they have been in a triangular shape, they have been like in a completely round shape as in the desert picture a couple of days ago. Um, it has been shown already in a somewhat L form. You know, different types of forms have already been shown. Um, so we can safely say that this is a customizable or like, you know, can, you can add different elements to it to kind of create a bigger aviary as it already stands. So that is a very good information and I really do hope that this is going to translate over into Planet Zoo. And I think there are a couple of hints and signs that I'm not guessing, but there are actual good signs um, that what I'm going to talk about is, is more than just a guess and more than just a rumor. So what we know for certain is that Jurassic World Evolution 2's engine is somewhat supported on Planet Zoo 2. There has been there has been some ana analysis going on to the, the, the code and stuff, and you've also potentially noticed that yourself um, with the last big update, um, with the last DLC for Planet Zoo, they upgraded the engine. Um, especially the modders, for example, they noticed that their things have changed. Um, but also, just in general, I had a huge performance boost on, on many different uh, parks. Uh, I had a huge performance boost just in general, and I... I I do believe to notice some little uh, changes in shaders and stuff. So um, it's actually 
you know, for certain that the engine was upgraded. We can't really tell if it is the exact same engine as for Jurassic World Evolution 2, or if it is just an engine that supports the flying, or if it's just a general um, optimization engine update. We obviously can't say for certain, but we can say that they updated the engine, and that's a good hint. And of course, we know that even though these games, and don't get me wrong here, these two games are completely different. Jurassic World Evolution um, 1 and also the second game now have nothing to do with the planet games as as for the game so there is no kind of um you know benefit from each other you know i've i've already shown that some of the assets such like stones or trees that you can see here in the background um are somewhat similar to the ones in planet zoo but this is you know this is not like related to the type of games this is because frontier owns these art sets and it just makes sense to use the same art sets in the same game because effectively it's a 3d model that you have from blender or i think they are using maya so it's kind of a Maya file that you can basically use in every game you create and since you know we are speaking about somewhat of the same types of uh, biomes and stuff like in Planet Zoo it makes total sense that they reuse the same models because why would you change something that is already pretty good but that also gives me the idea that we can see this um, animation and the breakthrough AI hopefully which is breakthrough AI um, for flying is you know kind of you know uh, potentially translated into Planet Zoom. Now, if we look at the f at the time frame that um, Jurassic World Evolution 2 and the update schedule of Planet Zoo, you know, offer, um, and we know somewhat, we have a somewhat good idea um, when the next kind of releases are. So if we stick to the three months update schedule of Planet Zoo, we can expect like in, you know, one or two months uh, uh, to see another DLC drop, which, you know, I, I have no idea. Um, I've legit this time, not a single idea what this is about. But I would, if I would need to put my money on it, I would say 99% we will not see any flying animals. And the reason for that is pretty simple. They would not take this and put this out before Jurassic World Evolution 2 is launched with um, with the flying animals being one of the big selling points next to the marine life, which is brand new in Jurassic World Evolution 2 as well. But, you know, since this is a first, so to say, for Frontier, having uh, free-flying um, animals... Um, in a game, I'm quite sure they wouldn't release a DLC for Planet Zoo with the same type of things, like the same type of um, behavior just a couple of weeks maybe ahead of their big launch of Jurassic World Evolution 2. That said, I think it's more likely that we will see a end-of-the-year holiday update of Planet Zoo featuring the flying animal, maybe like a bird pack, similar to the aquatic pack at the end of last year. Um, I think it makes sense for a lot of reasons, and I think in the timeline and in the in the bigger picture, um, it, it kind of makes a lot of sense. And also, let's talk a little bit further about the future then, because as I said at the beginning, we do not talk only about this, but also for the future. So people have noticed that um, Frontier is looking for new producers and animators. If I'm not uh, if I'm not wrong here, um, especially for Planet Zoo. So if you go to frontier.com/careers or jobs, you'll find uh, some job offerings, um, especially mentioned for Planet Zoo, which is interesting because the game is in its uh, second year of support already and will enter the third year of support, which is quite a long time uh, supporting a game, anyways. And uh, even though they have said they will be you know, featuring this game for longer, it's never it's never a given. You know, you can never expect this to be um, a 100% uh, safe thing because you know development changes all the time. Development changes, um, you know, down to changes in the environment, whatever. Um, different jobs, different games drop, whatever, um, and also what the numbers. It's all about the numbers as well, obviously. So things change. However, I think it's a good sign if we would get birds at the end of the year. There's one specific thing which I think we all agree on. It, it can't end with, let's say, also, well, I'm just going to pause here with this frame. Um, it, it can't end with like a birds DLC that might feature 
at most, I think, eight to ten animals if Frontier does a great job and go a bit bigger. So maybe pair the learning from the South Asian uh, animal pack and, um, you know, in comparison to the performance of the pieces and the normal packs, they will notice that only animal packs don't do that well as the packs with some scenery in. Um, and obviously going into a completely new species with flying animals and birds, we will obviously need some more scenery pieces. We got the mesh fence pieces, but maybe we will get some rope fences and stuff which would be great or maybe like a new type of barrier which we need for the system anyway so kind of new things are on the horizon if we talk about this but then again again this is not the last animal pack or whatever we would see because how would that be like a game that has like let's say i don't know 80 percent of the game are terrestrial animals then we have uh, somewhat marine animals is actually the wrong word we have like semi-marine animals if you want um because all of the diving animals we have at this point are not solely marine animals um so again th this would be another little area where we could dive into haha <laughs> next year but anyways we at least have the mechanic of diving in the game so that said the year 2020 Two would be the perfect year for Frontier to expand on the variety of animals. So you have all the all the behaviors in, and then you could really go crazy on different themed packs with a lot of different animals, some pieces, and maximize just the different variety variety of animals and uh, you know these kind of things. So I really, really, really do hope that we are going to see things like this in Planet Zoo in the future. And I really can't wait to to try Jurassic World Evolution Two. Um, to get a feeling of how natural the flying animations feel because as I did do a little bit of an analysis on the Pteranodon in Jurassic World Evolution 1 with the Dr Return Jurassic Park mod, um, since it was a looped animation it's kind of unfair to compare that. If you guys haven't seen my climbing analysis of Planet Zoo, I highly recommend to do so because that explains why some of the animations in this game look a bit quirky, look a little bit weird and why we have all these glitches. Anyways, to wrap it up, um, I think we can just say chances are really, really great that we might see also birds and flying animals in Planet Zoo well, maybe sooner than we all expected. Um, or, well, I, sh I shall say expected and not hoped, because we certainly did hope for that. Um, yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this real quick update on, on what's going on with the uh, flying animals in Jurassic World Evolution 2, obviously, as we clearly have the confirmation now. Um, and also as like a little hint on what that means uh, for Planet Zoo and its future further into 2022. And yeah, I think um, I'm very much... Uh, positive looking into the future of both games actually and i really hope uh that we yeah we can can have that soon in the game and enjoy this as well um let me know in the comments down below what you think would be the best uh way to integrate flying into planet zoo because certainly we don't have aviaries like in jurassic world there's no counterpart in a movie or so um so what is a system you you would prefer to to see flying realized in planet zoo do you think we can kind of get invisible tanks in the air like invisible air volumes if you want to have maybe even free fly option um, and then use the mesh pieces basically as as potential uh, you know barriers and stuff or do you think we will get like a new fence type in which we could create our own tents in a way or like mesh tents if you want um, or do you think it will be completely different and if so what do you think that is so I'm really interested to, to hear what you guys think about that anyways um, have a good day guys uh, make sure to keep your eyes on the channel on this weekend there's a couple of cool things coming to the channel a couple of new dioramas a bit more about Jurassic World Evolution 2 and yeah just in general some good stuff I really hope you guys enjoy as always as always I appreciate you guys uh, supporting the channel so much if you guys haven't subscribed yet and you like the content please consider doing so that helps me out and tells YouTube that you like the content which is great and i now hope you guys have a good day talk to you soon stay safe and goodbye